so many people in the population have thoracic aortic disease. They have these aortic aneurysms that predispose them to the aortic dissections. And um, Marfan syndrome is actually a very a, a small subset of the number of patients that have this disease. In fact, if you look at the population of people with thoracic aortic aneurysms and dissections, Marfan syndrome is, is, is less than 5% of that total population. And so the, and the same with low esteets and other syndromes, it's a very small percent. So the majority of people with thoracic aneurysms and dissections don't have one of these syndromes. And so, but they, there's a subset of those patients that actually have the same inherited predisposition to the disease. So if you look at the total number of patients with thoracic aortic disease, take out the people with Marfan syndrome and Loestet syndrome, um, in that group of patients, about 20% of those patients have an inherited form of thoracic aortic disease that gets passed once again from one generation to the next. And so, um, uh, so these people need the same sort of counseling and monitoring that people with Marfan syndrome do. They need to know that that if there has been a, if this is passing through the family, that future generations are at risk for this, and they need the monitoring to pr the aortic imaging and the medicine to prevent the dissections. And through work that my lab and other labs have done, we've identified a series of genes um, that can predispose people to this disease. So in people with Marfan syndrome, the altered gene is, this, is the FBN1 gene. For people with, fam with inherited forms, of um, inherited predisposition to thoracic aortic disease. There's actually many more genes that can cause that, and we're trying to go through and identify all those genes. Um, and the, the, once you know that a gene is running in the family and you can test for it through one of these genetic tests, it actually becomes very powerful information. In people with Marfan syndrome, we can often, you know, look at the children and figure out who's inherited Marfan syndrome and, not, and who hasn't. But in families with an inherited predisposition, to thoracic aortic disease that don't have a syndrome, they can't look at their children and figure out who's at risk and who's not unless they know the gene. So once they know the gene, they, can, they know who they have to worry about and who needs that imaging and who doesn't. And, and so it becomes very important and powerful information to those families to figure out who's at risk and get them managed properly to prevent the aortic dissections.